That's a nice tag. It's a really nice tag that he's got <laughs> going there. I think that's great. That's like a deep. That's like... always his tug. <laughs> Is it always? I haven't oh. seen the player before. Brilliant. At least he's consistent. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, I mean, I know <laughs> us two are going to root for Jewelry, obviously. Oh, yeah, he's local. Yeah. Also, a hard matchup for him as well. So, uh, he's playing the game now of just waiting to get hit before he can actually do something because Lucario's slow set combos do about 20 at base. There we go. Yeah, exactly 20. Another fair, I guess. With Lucario, he's actually surprisingly nimble and has a lot of moves that are minus on hit. Like, he has his arrows are pretty small, so it's not easy to actually land and you're gonna get anti air really, like, really often by stuff like that. Um, sit back so we can be comfortable and I can hear you. Okay, <laughs> make sure this wire doesn't <laughs> almost tangled. This wire, this is awful. All right, there we go. Oh. Yeah, well, this is the weird thing with Lucario, it's like, oh. You can get those Aura Sphere confused where you get, what's it, it's a couple first hits of Aura Sphere and then you get, um, you'll confirm into either back air or I think you can sometimes confirm into up smash off it and Jovi doesn't know how to do those. He's not been playing much recently. I think recently. Side B as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a mix of it. If you just start mashing when you're getting hit by uh, Aura Sphere, you can just get, like, if, it's really broken. If you're just holding shield, you expect to get, I don't know, hit by a back air, hit by an air smash or something stupid. No, he, he just has a command grab that'll kill you at 60. Because this is really <laughs> dangerous now. Yeah, kill percent. Do not shield against Lucario. Um, we have no idea how much experience uh, King Arthur has against Lucario. It's probably not much. This thing with these cheesy low tiers, it's just you have to get around one gimmick, and if you can, well, Ooh. that was a nice catch. That's yeah, good because you know now he's back at zero. This sucks for Lucario. Like, there's no chance of him getting an early kill here. He has to take damage, which is not great. Um, yeah. I don't think Lucario really has particularly good tools to Gimp Falcon either, like a lot of other characters have, so he's not really going to be able to get that that stock very fast. I was just thinking about that kill. Um, I think one of the most consistent ways to kill Lucario is if he doesn't unsafe recovery onto stage. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, I know, at that. least Jovi likes to do a fair amount. Yeah, I have noticed already his, uh, his recovery is a little bit linear. He often burns his jump early. He... Yeah, there's, there's, uh, and he'll not always up be directed to the ledge. And there's a risk with that with Falcon if he just starts going for down air two frames, uh, which will obviously end you fast. And if Lucario dies early, that's it's, it's rogue for him then. Playing from behind with any counter in the game is difficult, but Lucario is particularly bad because you just always have to take damage to really do anything. Managing to rack it up though. Yeah, it's not looking so too bad now. 50 is like a decent amount of aura to have. Yeah, this, this is workable. This is kind of where Lucario wants to be and kind of just wants to stay. That back through did 12. Like, he's not... <laughs> he's not negligible. He's a playable character now. Ooh. That's a really good mix-up. It's just kind of hard to know what to do in this situation. I feel like he might have tried to... I'm not sure what button he pressed there. He I, th I, th I think he just dropped shield. I think he just dropped shield, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. If he jumped, they probably would have gone out of that dance rush isn't that fast. He's got to secure his stock fast, because if Joey starts just hitting him now, it's gonna the damage is going to go just lightning fast. Up is really got to start catching the jumps at a disadvantage. Joe, that's what he does that most of the time. And Falcon's really good at that. If you jump wrong against Falcon, you lose your jump, you get hit by an up air, and then you're just stuck. Your only option is now air dodge, and then you're gonna get hit by something that almost killed. Just making Lucario more powerful, and never mind. <laughs> there we go. As I said, he did catch the jump without smash. That's a broken anti air and not really punishable. So we're in the same situation again where there's damage on Falcon, but it's just. What do you do with it? Uh, not much. <laughs> There's not really much you can do. He wants you to stand there and just let himself get hit. Stand still. <laughs> and then he'd be fine. That's an even game. I just have a situation. No, nothing from there. That's a good counter. I wonder how fast that is. It seems to be a fairly reliable combo breaker. That up didn't look true though. No, no, definitely not. Oh, there it is again. No, just kills. That looked like a DI in as well. Yeah, he probably wasn't ready. That, that comes out really fast. <laughs> I, he probably did react to it. There we go. Game one goes to Jovi. We might see Bans here. I might see PS2 again. I don't think it would be bad for either of them. We might see Aegis. We might see Aegis, yeah. We might see Aegis. Is it Aegis or Aegis? 
Who cares? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Pithra. Let's say Pithra. <laughs> or Pithra, or whatever. No, that'll do. Full timer island, maybe? No? Okay. Probably want to. Generally, stay on big platforms sieges. are good against Lucario. Yes. Because um, yeah. he can't spam the Aura Sphere as easily. It's kind of like the only way to get over it. Yeah, yeah, right back to PS2, that makes sense. It's just, just calm neutral. There's the platforms that Joby likes, there's a lot there's a lot of calm flat area. Falcon's not really gonna struggle for combos here. I'd imagine he probably banned stuff like Battlefield Yoshi just to get rid of any possibility of eating oh. too much damage. But I okay. I've seen his ZSS before. Okay, this is interesting. I mean I'm not hundred percent sure this guy can struggle to secure kills, which is not great, and she's also really light, but it's still probably a winning matchup, but right? ZSS got the is the queen of early kills. <laughs> oh yeah, I've never done their flip kick, but like, <laughs> in that 3% window. But no, if he does get those early kills, it'll, and it's obviously these early combos that do a lot of damage. See why he likes ZSS and Falcon. <laughs> yeah, true. You can just run around similar him. Similar combos. You can run around him a lot more as well, just avoid any, everything Lucario is doing. Whereas with Falcon, you sometimes just get forced to hit by, get hit by stuff and your disadvantage sucks. Whereas here, you just... Oh look, only 14. Brilliant. You just <laughs> you're back to reversal. <laughs> they can both change momentum a lot in the air. Okay, Very well. Like <laughs> we now know that stun gun does not go through our sphere. Actually, a lot of like fancy movement options from both of them. The moment that Jovi starts to like pick up on Arthur's movement habits, it'll probably be ropes for him. Just one back air will do him in. I think an up air in the wrong. Like, if he's too high up on the safety and he hits an up air, that's, it's over. Uh, that stock's gone. It's a really dangerous situation for both of them. Whoever takes this stock here could be really... Oh, there it is! Good Aura Sphere, good catch. Catching his aerial drift, just holding right. That's about as high as the Aura Spheres could ever be. Yeah! <laughs> and it's disgusting, so it now. Also, just like, punishing the Zaire. Couldn't react to that at all. Oh, this is so much damage now. All the air dodge. Wasn't ready to punish that. Good F tilt. He just goes so far. He's just gone. It's like, you know what? Bottom right of the screen doesn't matter. You just escape, you're out, you're fine. That tilt, that tilt is not going to kill anytime soon. It's looking pretty stale. And Twice is going to go for Dance Match more on lead just to, I don't know, condition him into picking an option and moving and getting scared. Because I don't, there's no reason for Jovi to be afraid right now, really. Like, he has to get hit by something pretty Ooh, raw. Oh, that was, beautiful. That was <laughs> beautiful confirm. That up didn't even kill. Oh, there it is. That's so hard to react to that. She just moved up there so fast, but this is really grim now. He's lucky he got that stock and you can start getting these percent combos going. But it's all it's all feeding into Lucario's power. <laughs> He's trying to do it again. He's not falling for it twice. Since Jovi's like improved with Lucario over the, over the last few months, see, I think his neutral is like some of the best we've ha we have here. Yeah, he's not. He's more than just a, a game. He's, he grinds movement quite a bit when he when he played more actively, so he's still got a lot of that in his back pocket. And he doesn't really just spam shield in neutral. He doesn't really just press throw out the buttons as much he's really as smart in some neutral. do. Yeah, he's smart. He, he uses movement to get around things and then finds opportunities. But if you don't play the game that much, it will. That will that kind of playstyle will fail you quite often, but it's doing perfectly fine here. There we go. This is the danger zone now. Got all this fear, just catching him running in. This kick, but definitely living. He, he fakes out with the neutral beat charge so much that you just don't not gonna expect it when it actually hits you. Yeah, exactly. It's like he he, he throws it out and you're like in my condition to think, okay, he's not gonna do it this time, and then he does it, <laughs> you get hit by, and you eat 40, and then maybe even die. Back throw, this is a grim situation. Probably catch a jump here. Oh, there's the flip jump. There goes that stock, but... I think I saw him try and SDI that as well. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have been stupid. I don't think you can do that consistently, but yeah. it can work. He's consistently trying to read King Arthur's recoveries with the flip jump, but not yeah. quite catch them. But it's <laughs> not exactly easy. <laughs> that wasn't even close to killing at 145. <laughs> That's just... Oh, that will do it though. There you go, good stuff to Jovi, good catch. I think Arthur was very much like, every time he was in any sort of disadvantage state, he would always drift the same direction. It was either, he would always hold out, hard out, and Jovi would just really just jump and immediately catch it every single time. Yeah. 